so we're centered on the background. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, ready. Hi, Steve Campanelli here. I am uh, presenting Clint Eastwood with the Lifetime Achievement Award from the SOC and nominated for Camera Operator of the Year in Film for J. Edgar. So I'm very excited, and happy and proud to be here. 18 years with Clint, 17 films. Uh, yeah, it was a great collaborative effort. It was just wonderful. We had a great cast, we had a great script. And um, does he let you be quite free with your camera work? He does, yes. That's a great thing about him. It. Just totally freedom. That's the beauty of him. He just empowers everybody around him to really uh, do what you do best. He doesn't, you know, if there's something he wants to change, he'll do it. But otherwise, he just lets you do your job. And that's a great way to work, isn't it? And how much time do you put in before you um, start shooting with the director? Um, not much, to be honest with you, because his films are... are they seem to be so easy that they just get crafted so easy. So there's a great support team that gets all the pre-production done. And I go about a week before for our location, or whatever, to uh, go through the tech scouts. And then uh, there's a big production meeting the day before, or two days before we shoot. And then we just show up and shoot and just tell the story. Okay. And um, what advice would you give to anyone wanting to become a camera person? Uh, smile a lot. Work hard. Be friendly, have people like you, and just do your, you know, just really learn and listen to everything on the set because that's how you really become a good camera operator. So just see what's needed on the set and what, what has to happen. And that's the best advice I can give you. Always be aware. And while you're uh, I'm here, Haskell this... Wexler, and you're shooting me with that little camera, and you have a Unipod, and that's very good for you uh, as a camera operator. Um, Having that flip camera on a heavy-duty Unipop is, is a pretty good thing for an operator. Is My highlights so of career is uh, meeting interesting women who are behind the camera. <laughs> cool, that's thanks. For uh, Camera Operator of the Year on Motion Picture Films. Awesome. And what have you just recently come off? Of, uh, for this for this presentation, yes. it was for the, the, the Descendants. And um, tell us a little bit about some of the challenges that you had, because you filmed in Hawaii, did you? Yes, yes. And was that on film or digital? Yes, it was shot on film using Panavision cameras. And the challenges were, were uh, you know, shooting in the sand, but it's hard to make Hawaii not beautiful, so oh, what advice? Uh, follow your dreams, I think. You know, it's, it's, it, I love my job, and if you love your job, I think you're, you're bound to excel. Our weather smart. I, I think it's very possible, possible that many of Douglas's photographs no, inspired. No, 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 no. This is that's this very. Is, that's, that's Andrew's that's evening. The actual it's truth. Really of it. Andrew's yeah. evening. I know he Andrew says that. Cooper yes. is the best at what he does. It begins and starts with Andrew Andrew Cooper these days, and this is the man of the evening. Yeah. It's very special. You know, the SOC is a great organization. We're all members. And we're all happy to be here. My advice would be, I guess, to. Um, uh, to write your own ticket, not to wait to be invited to do what it is that you want to do, Beautiful. and uh, and uh, just decide what it is and uh, and pursue it, and uh, that is what everyone will come to see you as uh, being. Very That's quickly. great. But if you wait to be invited, uh, my advice is very simple: take every opportunity you have and make the most of it. Don't ever do anything halfway. Just really care. Oh. As we do. Oh.